So the hormonal birth control Depo Provera is being sued for brain tumors. That sounds really scary when they put it that way. But a class action lawsuit does not mean that you are going to get a brain tumor from Depo Provera. Let's look at the study where they're getting this data from. This is a case control study that was looking at a French database and comparing patients who had Depo Provera with different forms of progestin, including Depo Provera, and their association with meningiomas. Now, I'm an OBGYN, not a neurosurgeon, so I'm going to ask Lady Spine Doc to explain what a meningioma is. Thanks, Dr. Fran. My name is Dr. Betsy Grunch, and I am a board-certified neurosurgeon, and I want to give you a few facts about meningiomas. Meningiomas are typically slow-growing and benign tumors on the meninges, or the covering of the brain. Meningiomas are the most common type of brain tumor, accounting for about 30% of all brain tumors. Because they are usually slow growing, they can exist for years before they can cause any symptoms. Symptoms really depend on where the tumor is located. It can cause headaches, vision changes, hearing loss and memory loss, seizures, or even weakness in the arms or legs. The symptoms really depend on the tumor size and location. Treatment for meningiomas is also variable depending on how big it is and where it's located. That treatment is typically surgical resection or sometimes radiation. I hope that helps, and I'll turn it back to Dr. Fran. Thank you so much, Dr. Grunge. Going back to progestins and meningiomas, you can see in the group of patients who receive Depo for a prolonged time, eight patients out of 18,000 patients, or 0.04%, had a meningioma. This is compared to the 10 out of 90,000, or 0.01%. We know that about 60% of meningiomas have progestin receptors, and we've seen that they also grow in pregnancy when there's a higher state of progesterone. When thinking about taking any medication, you have to weigh the risks and the benefits. Based on this study alone, and this is the study that they're using for the lawsuit, I think that the risk to develop a meningioma is quite low. Is it zero? No. Is it slightly increased? Possibly, but this does not mean that every person who has had Depo-Provera is going to get a brain tumor.